Back on our show this Friday, it's good to have Dr. Farhan Urshad with us from the Wallace Eye Associates. We're going to talk a bit about eye health, cataract surgery. Uh, first of all, doctor, welcome to the show. Good to have you this morning. Thank you so much for having me. It's exciting and to be here. Welcome yeah. to Central Louisiana. How long have you been a resident I've actually here now? been here for four years in Central Louisiana. Terrific. I did a lot of my training in New Orleans at mm -hmm. Tulane. I did right. my residency and fellowship there mm -hmm. and came up here to work at the VA in Pineville mm -hmm. for over three years. And I really enjoyed being up there with the veterans, working with the residents, and doing a lot of training. And it's been a good transition to private practice. The Wallace Eye. And I know all you have to do is watch News Channel 5 or CBS 2. We've seen your lovely family. <laughs> <laughs> that was a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah, that was. So, how are they doing? They're doing great. Thanks good. for asking. My wife's actually a physician at Cabrini, uh -huh. um, and our kids are getting older uh, and older. How old are they? They're four and two now. So oh, they're oh God. definitely keeping yeah. us on our toes. Got a handful. Yeah, you got, you got your handful. <laughs> Let's talk about cataracts. So I wanted to talk about cataracts because, you know, over 60, over 90% uh, of the people that are greater than 65 years old have cataracts, so they're very common. Mm -hmm. And what cataracts are, are basically, you know, as we grow, there's a lens in our eye that focuses the light to the back of our eye, and it grows as we grow. It fills up with protein and dead cells and water, and so it makes it harder for us to see. It becomes very cloudy. Right. What right. are the symptoms? So there's a variety of symptoms. First of all, colors start to get duller and dimmer. Um, night vision is a problem because at night our pupils dilate and get bigger so more of those cataracts become exposed so mm -hmm. we get glare and halo especially around headlights. Um, it's harder to read up close and um, overall our, our vision just starts to deteriorate. A friend of mine just had surgery. She's younger than I am but she had cataract surgery to improve her eyesight. That was interesting. I thought you had to have cataracts to have cataract surgery. That's true. So with the advances that we've had in technology, um, first of all, we've got a new laser. We used to use lasers to do LASIK. Well, now we're using lasers to do cataract surgery mm -hmm. instead of ultrasound power. And so with the laser, we have, you know, better outcomes, more accuracy, you know, and um, new lenses that can help us see far away and up close. It's like having LASIK, but then not having to worry about cataract surgery later on. We've got some video here. Tell us about uh, what we're going to see here in just a second. So this is actually our laser in action on one of mm -hmm. our patients where you can see the laser making precise right. cuts to dissolve the cataract in somebody's eye. Um, basically, you know, we dissolve the cataract and then we aspirate it out of the eye. We then replace it with a clear artificial lens. Mm -hmm. and, and I love this laser because it just came out a few months ago because it is so precise and the recovery is so quick. It's completely painless and you can be seeing better within a couple of days. We have several Great people that... Exactly. We have several people that are almost 20-20 and reading up close the next day after <laughs> surgery. And some of it has to do with the new lenses that we have as well. And what were you telling me about this replacing LASIK surgery or right. an option? Mm -hmm. Exactly. So when we have older individuals, say in their 40s and 50s, when we do LASIK... <laughs> Did, he, when we did, do he, LASIK, did you just put 40 and 50 in elders? <laughs> we yeah. fit in that demographic. <laughs> well, what, I, what I'd like to say is, you know, when we do LASIK, we correct your distance vision. But mm -hmm. people in their 40s and 50s still need reading glasses. So they're still not completely independent of wearing glasses. Well, if we do early cataract surgery, then you don't have to worry about reading glasses either. And if you've had LASIK before, you're still going to need cataract surgery later. So this is a great alternative to that. That is. Does insurance cover this surgery? Insurance does cover it. Medicare does pay for cataract surgery. Oh, that's fabulous. Okay, and how is it performed and how long does it take? So that's a great question. So cataract surgery these days is very quick. It on average takes less than 10 minutes. Um, it's an outpatient procedure, so patients come in the morning. Mm -hmm. um, we do the surgery and within an hour after we're done, they're able to go home. We see them back the next day and the next week to make sure that they're doing okay. Um, and uh, like I said, we use a variety of instruments to dissolve the cataract and then replace the cataract with an artificial lens that's custom fitted to their eyes. Amazing the progress that's been made in cataract surgery. It's exactly, incredible. especially over the last 10 years, yeah. there's just been a giant leap. You know, there's never been a better time patient, to have cataract right? surgery. Yeah. For, For folks that Americans. would like more information on the surgery that you talked about today, I'm sorry. How they? Oh. For folks that would like more information. So they can go to our website. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we have several uh, videos, animation that talk about it. They're welcome to come by our office um, for a screening. You know, a lot of people don't realize they have cataracts because it's something that's very slowly developing and it's painless. Mm -hmm. So until you get your eyes checked, you might not even be aware. And if we can do it earlier, we can give you better vision to enjoy for a longer period of time. Wonderful. Great information. Yeah, Thanks Dr. so much Oshawa. for Thanks coming for in. coming by. Good to meet you. Thank you so much for having me. More to come on Good Day. Stay with us on this Friday morning. Thank you.